we are going to focus upon today's topic which is PCA. PCA stands for Principal Component Analysis. Again re-emphasizing Principal Component Analysis. What is it? It is a dimension reduction technique. You can also see it is an unsupervised learning technique. Now, why it is used? It helps in reduction of large set of data. I am going to show you one example where we are going to reduce this large set of data into number of manageable variables. Now, from where we have taken that data set? The data set is taken from the Kaggle website. We will going to provide you the URL in the description. Now, what is the objective? The objective is to reduce the variables into smaller number of manageable data set using PCA technique. As I said, PCA is actually dimension reduction technique and how we are going to do it, let us go to the IBM SPSS data set. This is our SPSS data set on power consumption which is taken from Kaggle website. You can see we have approximately 33 variables over here as well as you can see the data date which we have seen from 2019 till 2020, 512, 2020. So 503, 503 rows are there and 33 variable. Now the objective is to reduce these 33 variables into manageable number. And how we are going to do it, we will going to show step by step. Now click on analyze, in analyze dimension reduction and then click on factor. Now you can see this dialog box and select all these variables on the right hand side. We have already selected all the variables into the right pane. Now you can see there are four options. One is descriptive, extraction, rotation, scores. One by one we have to describe all these things. Now. Let us click on descriptives. In the descriptives, the most important part where you should focus is KMO and Bartlett test of sphericity. Click on this. What is this? KMO stands for Kaiser Mayer Olkin test and Bartlett test of sphericity. Both are commonly used in factor analysis to assess whether a set of variable is suitable for factor analysis. KMO value range from 0 to 1. A value closer to 1 indicates that the variables are more suitable for factor analysis, meaning that there is more common variance among the variables. Generally, a KMO value above 0.6 is considered acceptable for factor analysis. Thus, the KMO test assesses the overall suitability of variables for factor analysis while Bartlett test checks whether there is enough correlation between variables to justify using factor analysis. Continue. Let us focus on second part which is extraction. In the extraction you can see by default the method is principal component. Now we will going to talk about eigenvalue and scree plot. We need both scree plot and eigenvalue. So a scree plot provides a visual aid for deciding the number of factors or components to retain in factor analysis or PCA based on the eigenvalue of each factor or component. It helps balance the trade-off between capturing enough variance in the data and avoiding overfitting by retaining too many factors or components. Now what is the criteria? So extraction is based on the eigenvalues having value greater than 1. Higher eigenvalue suggests that the corresponding factor or component captures more variance in the data. Now what we can do? We can click on the continue. Now we have another option which is rotation. So in the rotation we have lot of options. We are clicking on very max. Why? 
so very max will rotate the factors or principal components to achieve a simpler and more interpretable factor structure now again continue then we have scores which we can use to save all these scores uh, as variables so click on this and continue so now we have the in this option sorted by size and suppress a small coefficient where we are going to put the value of 0.6 uh, so we are going to suppress the values which is less than 0.6 now continue and then okay so you can see this is the outcome window uh, KMO. So let us read about KMO first. So uh, KMO value which is the first assumption and it must be greater than 0.6 as already discussed. So you can see over here the value is 0.8. So that means it is good. Now uh, another important thing is Bartlett test of sphericity. So apart from KMO test, it is important to note the significance of Bartlett test of sphericity. And here you can see it comes out to be 0 0.000, which is significant and less than 0 0.05. So that means we can perform factor analysis. So the prerequisite, uh, the assumptions are clear. Now let us move to create factor analysis because we have passed these two tests. Now, the second graph that we will going to look upon is the scree plot. So scree plot uh, which shows the number of variables can be created. So now how many variables we can create? If you look at this, so eigenvalue we have already discussed should be greater than 1. So if you put an arrow or a line between 0 and 2, so you can see around you know 6 variables. So we can see the 6 values have uh, eigenvalue which is larger than 1. So it gives us an estimate that we can extract 6 values from these uh, you know points. So now what we are going to do let us see what 6 factors we can actually extract out of it. So if we again go and see this table which is total variance explained. Here you can see around 6 components which we have extracted. So first component is actually explaining 11%. So 11.68, fine. So that means 35% of variance is explained by first component. Second component is explaining 6.955. Third component is explaining 3.677. Fourth is 1.688. So uh, the idea is to get the factor which is greater than 1. So that is why. Uh, seventh component we will going to ignore and if you see the cumulative percentage that means 80% six factors are explaining 80% of the variance. So that means the contribution of other factors other variables is negligible and uh, you know we can ignore those variables. Now once we have decided that okay we are going to keep these six variables now what is the next uh, step? Let us read another table and here it is known as rotated component matrix so now you will going to see the six variables values so if you see the first component which we have created uh, in the power consumption these particular uh, you know cities are helping us up rajasthan haryana chhattisgarh uttarakhand pondicherry sikkim meghalaya and odisha and hp so they are contributing in the first component and uh, we have also seen that they are explaining approximately 35% now in the second component which factors are coming which were uh, cities andhra jk uh, then uh, you know you can see the other in agar haveli uttar pradesh bangal assam right and in the third component also you can see andhra pradesh and and, uh, all other uh, you know is also coming Kerala Tamil Goa Karnataka MP and Tamil Nadu uh, then comes the another component so this is how we have explained six components and based on this six component we have explained 80% of the power consumption. Now uh, another important point you must have noticed that we have saved it so remember analyze analyze then go to dimension reduction and then goes to factor here once we have decided that which scores we want to save what we are going to do we will click on the score and save as variables now once we will do okay let us go back and see our data 
in this data set you can see how these factors yes so you can see these factors have come up so second time because i have uh, clicked twice so two time it is showing but these are the factors for the first time which we have clicked this is for the first time yeah, we have seen these are the values so now what we have done out of 33 variable we have reduced it to the six factor so now these six factors are going to be treated uh, as uh, compared to the 33 variables now uh, this is the end of the pca uh, how we have uh, done the uh, dimensional reduction technique in case uh, you have any question you can you know ping me on my uh, channel and if you like it 